Hi everyone, Janie here, and today I'm going to be making two, yes, two very different greeting cards. I'll be making a five and a half inch square birthday card for my teenage grandson, and I'll be making a mini slimline valentine for a friend. For both cards, I'm going to be using this In Love Arts Happy Cartoon Frog Die and Stamp Set that comes in this nice plastic pouch to keep everything together. And this set comes with five sentiments for a variety of occasions and 18 images with 18 coordinating cutting dies. And I wanted to show you how easily these cutting dies separate. To separate most cutting dies that I have, I had to use pliers. But as you can see, these are easy enough to do even with my old lady hands. And here I'm just showing you how nicely the cutting dies fit around the images. So here I'm using my Creative Craft product stamp platform and stamping the images that I'm going to be using with Memento Lux Toffee Crunch Multimedia Ink. And I still haven't learned my lesson. As you can see, I'm trying to ink all of the images at once and so I have to stamp a couple of times because not all of the ink stays wet long enough. But it only took me a couple of tries to get perfectly stamped images. And to color them, I'm using my Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers in the colors shown here. The top two frogs were colored with the Citrus Green Blend, and the bottom frog was colored with the Dull Green Blend. And here's everything colored and die cut, and I am really loving how they turned out. Okay, it's time to start on the first card, which is going to be the five and a half inch square birthday card for my grandson. And I started with an eight and a half by 11 inch piece of cardstock and cut it to five and a half by 11. And then I scored that down the center at five and a half inches and folded it in half, creating my square card base. For the bottom layer of the card, I'm using a piece of six by six green Christmas glitter cardstock from Cat Scrappiness and I cut that down to five and a fourth by five and a fourth inches and then using my Creative Craft Products paper trimmer I did my usual paper saving technique of cutting the center out and leaving a half inch border. And that center piece that I cut out will not go to waste because I can use that on other projects including cutting Happy Birthday out of it for this card. And to do that I'll be using this Coca Rosa Happy Birthday cutting die from In Love Arts. I also die cut some extra pieces out of white cardstock to glue to the back of the colored pieces to make them a little more sturdy because I'm going to be gluing them onto an embossed layer. And this is the embossing folder that I'm going to be using and it is from In Love Arts and it is called Staggered Lines Embossing Folder and it is five and a half inches square. And now it's time to start assembling the card. In my most recent Tuesday Two Minute Tips and Tricks video, I showed how I make my own enamel dots, and if you missed that, I'll put a link right here on the screen as well as at the end of the video for you. And today I decided to use a few of those, and I'm going to be using these glue dots to put them on, and this particular size is mini, but they come in other sizes. And, put this out here. They come in a roll like this, and I've actually used a lot and probably should tear that off. Oh, wait a minute, there we go. There is one right there. So you just take your glue dot and, well, it's not your glue dot, your enamel dot, and stick it right on there. And I'm going to go ahead and tear that off just because I want to get to the other dots on here. There we go. And so they're easy to put on, as you can see. And there is a smaller size than this, it's called micro. And I thought the micro was too small. The mini appears to be a little bit too big. And I'm gonna turn this card around so it's facing me because I'm on this side. And so if they're too big, just tuck the glue around, uh-oh. Look at this, I have a dog hair on here. Yes, I have a dog, folks. Okay, <laughs> so then I'm just going to stick it right here on the card and 
while pulling that dog hair off. I kind of pulled part of that off. Yeah, I'll have to deal with that in a minute. Okay, so anyways, this is how easy it is. So if you make your own dots, you can just put them on glue dots like this instead of having to try to figure out, you know, holding them in your hand or in tweezers while you're putting, um, you know, glue on it. I really like these glue dots a lot. Not even just for this, but they are perfect for when you make your own little enamel dots or faux enamel dots or and let me tuck more of that glue underneath. Like I said, they have a smaller one and I almost used that, but it just looked too small. So I don't know. But like I said, just you know, push the excess underneath. And there you go. And that is how easy, look at that, I'm going the wrong direction there. That is how easy it is to use your um your enamel dots if you make your own. And I wish that you could just see the sparkle on this. It's not real. <laughs> this is just a smooth, totally smooth. There is no glitter texture to it at all. It's just, you know, printed that way. And I'm gonna try to get some pictures of it because it's just showing up so dark right now and you can't see that. But I'll take some pictures and you will get a better look at that. Okay, it's time for that mini slimline valentine card. And since the card will be three and a half inches by six inches, I cut a piece of cardstock to seven inches by six inches. And then with the seven inch side along the top, I scored that down the center at three and a half inches and folded it in half to create my card base. And for this card, I'm using the pink glitter cardstock from Cat Scrappiness, and I'll be using two different colors of pink. And by the way, as usual, the true color is not showing up on my camera, but trust me, it is pink and not orange. For this layer, I'm cutting that down to three and a fourth inches by five and three fourths inches. And just like before, I'm cutting out the center of that, leaving a half inch border. And I will be using the center part to die cut some hearts for this card. And I cut a piece of white cardstock at three inches by five and a half inches for the top layer of the card. For this piece, I'm gonna be creating a stamp background and I'm going to be using Twisted Citron Distress Ink and this stamp right there. So, I just decided that I didn't want it to be, you know, plain white, but on the other hand, I also didn't want it to take away from what I'm going to be putting on there. So I just thought a simple stamped image all over it would look really nice. So anyways, um, I'm just going to be stamping. No particular pattern. Um, not, you know, I want it to be kind of off the, um, the paper a little bit, just so it doesn't look like it was you know, like totally put on there perfectly. That was not the look I was going for, just kind of a random background. Okay. Let me see if you could see that in this light. Sometimes I get the light too bright, sometimes not bright enough, but there you go. That is my background for the card. So next I'm going to be stamping I Love Our Beautiful Friendship onto the piece that I just um, did the background on. And I am using my Creative Craft Products stamp platform. And what I love about this is that it doesn't go all the way down until you push it all the way down, which is really nice. You can look and make sure things are lined up the way that you want. And I'm going to be using my Memento Tuxedo Black ink to do this. So this is really nice in case I have to stamp it more than once, which sometimes happens. But let me get that on there. And I have already checked to make sure that it was right where I wanted it um, when I positioned it. And it's stamped beautifully the first time, but I'm going to stamp it one more time just to make sure it's extra dark because it is, after all, going over um, the images that I stamped on there. So. Let me just do this one more time. And there we go. That is done and is perfect. 
Next I'm using a cat scrappiness glitter cardstock and a scrap of gold foil paper to cut out some hearts and an arrow that I'll be using on the card. And now it's time to start assembling things. And here are my finished cards and I'll be showing you better pictures of these in a minute but I would just love for you to leave me a comment letting me know which one of these you like best and why so I really 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 love this adorable frog stamp and die set they are so cute I love all the extras that come with it like the hearts and the arrow and these pieces right here that I cut out and ended up not using, um, there is just so much to that set. And it has so many possibilities, as you can see, everything from a beautiful Valentine to a masculine birthday card. Um, gosh, they would be great for so many things. Any kid's birthday, anybody that loves frogs. Um, I love it. I love, love, love it. And I also like the embossing folder that I used for this. I think that embossed background has a lot of possibilities. Um, so I'm sure I'll be using that more. And this happy birthday. I really like that die also. So I was just really thrilled with everything that I worked with today, but I especially love, love, love the frogs. I'm sorry. I have this thing for frogs because my son used to be a mech race and his nickname was Frogger, but it actually was for two reasons. One, his uniform was green, and the other one is because it actually stood for something. The letters in Frogger stood for fully rely on God's grace every race, which he did. So frogs are kind of special to me. But again, please leave me you know, a comment below and just let me know which one you like better and why. Thank you all so much for stopping by and letting me share my creations with you. I hope they gave you some inspiration. And if you like any of the products that you saw me use today, I'll have links to them below in the description box, as well as a 25% off discount code to In Love Arts should you decide to shop there. And also, here on the screen as this video is ending are links to other videos that might interest you. Happy crafting everyone. Bye bye.